Come here. Up, up. Jump. Oh, hi, Ellie. Good girl. We're going to do this fan build. Let's do this fan build. Yeah. Let's do it. Update with the van here. So, I don't know. Where did I last update you guys? Got everything cleaned out. Next up is insulation. Well guys, made a little bit of progress. We got the uh, fan completely installed today. That was a huge win. And uh, we're working on the insulation now, which is really slow going. We've got a Reflectix for sort of a vapor barrier is the way we're using it. It provides minimal R value, insulation value. so. It's almost a waste. I think Reflectix is overrated. And then on top of the Reflectix, we're putting this pink rigid foam here. Yeah, so we've got three panels in. They're they're really hard to fit in. You gotta use some muscle and just kind of trial and error, I guess. You know, you gotta like just put them up there and find out what's catching, and then cut that off and put it back in. And I don't know, man. This probably a faster way I would say this is not the bang for the buck way to put this stuff in van build day two got the insulation in well partly now we're spraying the uh, was that stuff called goop stuff crack filler shit oh my god gravity is fighting against us okay time for a progress update video here's where I'm at I'm not getting very far. It's it's slow, slow going. So at this point, I've got all the reflect, all the reflectix is up in place. My first layer, and then I've got the um, that tape, the seam sealing tape, reflectix brand tape to tape all the seams. And I'm midway through getting the uh, the pink foam board on there. I really like this stuff. I know it's not the highest uh, R value, uh, it doesn't provide the best insulation when you compare it to that that stuff with the foil on it, I forget the name of it, but that, that stuff with the foil has a little bit higher insulation properties, but it is really difficult to work with, I mean, it, you bend it, it just shatters into a million pieces, it's really messy. <clears throat> this stuff is awesome, man, you can completely sculpt it with uh, <clears throat> either a... Uh, <clears throat> One of these, like, you think that's a knife? This is a knife. Look at this thing. This is our blade that we're dealing with here. We're working with. So that's nice to use, but this is even nicer. So I'm using this um, multi tool. And it cuts, it cuts through this stuff like butter. Like, let me just give you a quick demo if I can do it without cutting my hand off or damaging it. So I, I'm only one-handed right now, but it, um, once you make that cut right there, the blade doesn't seem to go completely through it, but it breaks off pretty dang cleanly. Look at that. It's a pretty clean cut. I'm having a heck of a time, and my brother is, you know, he's got to work, so he can't help. And then tonight, I guess, we got a little too drunk last night and uh, made a lot of mistakes. A lot of party fouls. Like you can see my shoes. I managed to stay clean during, you know, using this uh, Reflectix or this, this uh, what do you call it, the gap sealer up here. It was when af the after party when we were in the garage just BSing. And um, yeah, I, uh, he wanted to use the multi tool and uh, cut through a can of the goop stuff. And he did. And it exploded all over, all over me. Like all over my, what I consider my nice, nicer jacket, my nicer pants, and then my shoes that I've had forever. So as you can see, like I'm just getting to the point, this is really tiring and it's recommended that you use stencils. So you would get some tracing paper in here, like especially these angles right here. I'm, I'm finding that this one is, is difficult to cut to get this angle because um, <clears throat> it's just, it's too many angles. And um, you know, I try to use the, the saw and 
put it in there and then make a little cut and then put it, you know, and then put it back in there and, and just trial and error to get it done, but it's taking forever and I'm making mistakes, so <clears throat> I don't have tracing paper. I was going to go buy some, but uh, in the meantime, I'm doing kind of crap like this where I, I think this is going to be okay. It's got the same insulation properties, I feel like, if, as long as I'm not leaving gaps. I'm just cutting up little pieces and kind of just wedging them in there as I go. It's not a pretty job, but you know, hey, this is all going to be covered, right? So, and unlike everybody that I've seen on YouTube, we're going to be using carpet for the uh, top layer here instead of uh, a, a thin plywood just because of um, the weight and also a lot of precision cuts with that. And I just need to get out on the road. I feel like I'm wasting my time here. And it's so cold. It's so cold in Washington right now. It was like the coldest day of the year. So, <clears throat> coldest day of the year and I'm out here. It helps to keep busy, just like keep moving. I had the Mr. Buddy heater set up in here and that was helping a little bit. Also, do you see these lights? Do you see how freaking bright that is? Um, those put off a lot of heat too, so that does help. I've got a warmer destination that I can go. My cousin is going to help me, and he's in Texas. So if I can just quickly get this installed. Like, we've already got the, the fan installed. That was a huge, uh, huge thing that I wanted to get done. And then the insulation. This is, like, midway done. Um, and, but... I was listening to the uh, Living Free Mike on his channel. He was doing a little uh, talk, one of those live Google Hangout talks, and he mentioned that uh, in his experience, the the floor uh, insulation is like the most important. Um, so I had pretty much overlooked that, but um, I was concentrating on the roof because hot air rises and I didn't want it to escape and the walls. But really, it's probably um, you know <clears throat> the flooring here. So. Um, I probably want to focus on that as far as insulation goes. The other thing that we need to do while I'm here is build that bed. So I need to build a bed so that uh, so that we have like cargo space here. I've got a lot of crap that I need to bring with me on the trip. And if I don't have that bed, then it's just going to be piled in here. So I, I guess that'll work if I can just pile it in here until I can drive down to warmer weather, Texas. And my cousin has got carpentry skills. He's done it as... Uh, you know, a handyman trade, and he's got experience with all this stuff, so, and I'm hoping, like, if he has a day off or two, we can just bust through it. My brother's got, like, Friday off, he took Friday off, and then he's got Saturday and Sunday, so we'll just power through this, man, so hopefully I can get out of here. I don't want to spend my vacation, like, just building a van, you know what I mean? I know a lot of guys, like, uh, Wonderless Estate, I know that he just bought a conversion van and basically got on the road with a sleeping bag, you know? And, and did it so you know I don't need to overthink this you know this is just I'm thinking about this as like version one this is the first iteration you know this will just I just need the basics to like get me out there and it just so happens it's the time of the year where it's like really cold so I feel like insulation is necessary but maybe it's not I mean if you look at you know Mike in his conversion van he hasn't done a damn thing I mean he's he has he's added solar and stuff but no insulation uh, he was saying that his zero degree uh, sleeping bag was uh, keeping him warm. So uh, I went on Amazon today just because, you know, I heard that. And uh, I, mean, I, I bought the same, like a Coleman zero degree sleeping bag. So worst, worst comes to worst, then, you know, I can, I can get in that sleeping bag. And I'm going to bring in Ellie too, you know. Ellie's are, uh, animals are, like, great for uh, insulating you at night. So, you know, like heating you up. So... A few good tips off of Mike's channel. So the sleeping bag and the floor here. Got to make sure that uh, we insulate that. That's it, man. All right, dude. Let's bust it. Let's get out here and let's do some stuff. It's getting late. Yeah, hey, it's getting late. I'm gonna go to sleep. What you want? All right, guys. I couldn't afford the beer that I wanted from Safeway, so please send me all your money so I can drink again. I'm so sober. Please help. Thank you.